You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, welcome to another fun and fantastic episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. And my name is Rob. Yes, welcome. Glad that you're here with us today. We really do appreciate it. Thanks for joining us for episode 920 and uh, a practical episode today, I would call it. It's actually a question I'm surprised we haven't been asked before. Maybe we have. I don't remember, but I don't think so. So we'll dig into it a little yeah, bit. I, yeah, I don't think we've answered this very, very, very specific vertical, but I, don't think so either. Um, I think that we will have an opportunity to do it. Thank you again for spending your time with us. If you haven't checked out the new landing pads that have ground control points on them, make sure to click the link below in the description. Uh, also, just want to say super special thank you to everyone in the community who is supporting Drone You and the Ask Drone You podcast. Um, if you guys haven't figured it out, uh, the podcast is supported by membership. So if you are not a member, I recommend that you become a member today to get much deeper, much more thorough, and much more organized content. I know that there may be a perception out there that, hey, you can just listen to the podcast and get everything you need. I would say, are you sure that's the right way to go about it? <laughs> well, we definitely try to give a lot of information on the podcast, but to go deep and to, uh, um, yeah, just learn in much deeper format about anything we talk about here. True. It's a membership for sure. It sure is. And in the community from other people. It sure is. All right. So let's go ahead and get started with today's question, uh, which is brought to you by our friends of, well, it's the new year. And are you thinking about advertising to a drone crowd, crowd that is specific to commercial operations and wants to get information, then you can give us an email support at the drone you Dot com if you would like to become a sponsor or a supporter of the show. Hello, Phil Davies again. Just calling in regards to batteries. Sometimes I like to charge them in the car, but what would happen if the car stopped and started again, thus disrupting the battery charging? I was wondering if this would be an issue in terms of preserving the life of the batteries. All right, Phil, thank you for that. <laughs> Appreciate the question. And if you have a question, especially if you're willing to do what Phil just tried or did, go to askdroneu.com. We'd love to hear what from you as well. What kind of accent well. do you think that was? Uh, Julia Childs? I have no idea. Is Julia Childs like an older British lady? Yeah. Okay, that's I think perfect. She, is that her name, Julia Childs? Is she the, the, the chef, right? Am I thinking of the right person? I don't know. I'm not that old. <sighs> I hope so. <laughs> I'm not that old. Hmm. Uh, hey, Anyways. do you know how many like old jokes just flew over our heads at this last training? It was just like, <laughs> one was a Gilligan joke, and I was like, dude, that show's like 40 years old. Like, I yeah. was like, I don't have Maybe even older. A, I don't even have a remote chance at that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that was a good show, by the way. Enjoyed that back in the day when I was... <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay so let's get into today's question if you're charging batteries from your car and your car uh, turns off for whatever reason and your plugs uh, turn off with the car which by the way depending on your vehicle and depending if you have a more commercial grade vehicle versus a more consumer grade vehicle this can differentiate for you essentially like for example in uh, in the expedition when you plug into the rear um uh, what is it called? The rear jack. 12 volt jack. It stays on no matter what. So okay. on the front, it turns off with the ignition. So it just depends how your vehicle is set up. That being said, if you are charging a battery and let's say you're on four bars of the battery and the car turns off for whatever reason and the the battery has only been on four bars for maybe like five minutes or so, and then the car turns off and you turn it back on, depending on the type of battery, typically if it's already been on four bars, it will not recharge. But recently, I noticed that if it gets to four bars, it will charge up to about 90%. And then if, and this is just an, a, an estimation, um, and then after 90%, if you take it off the charger for whatever reason, it will not recharge the battery anymore past that point. So 90 is just an approximate empirical value. 
Uh, I have noticed because I did a lot of live streaming for surfing for a very long period of time. And if I did take batteries off after, uh, without being fully charged, yes, it is going to affect the endurance or number of total cycles for the battery. Hmm. Um, I can say that with a high degree of scientific certainty. <laughs> there it is again. <laughs> That's like the goal of every show. Sorry. No, it's not the goal of every show. It's just <laughs> that like we had a very long discussion about uh, skid marks and how all of the how data collection and everything is so critical. And anyway, if you're not following a systematic approach every single time, how, how can you be sure that your data is g- good as well? Yeah. But it also fair. goes to show how lawyers now, like if I was vetting a lawyer, I would want to know how technically savvy or how much of a deep diving researcher they were. Because I think it goes to show that the depth of your knowledge is going to showcase your ability to argue a, like a certain point. Sure. So. Yeah, I mean, the more information that you have, the more knowledge that you understand as far as that particular subject, the better you're going to be able to argue it. True. Doesn't mean you'll be a good orator or arguer, but at least you'll have the knowledge. Just saying. Anywho. So to answer this very short question, um, if your car turns off and the battery is probably uh, at 90 to 95 percent uh, and you try to plug it back in, it probably won't uh, charge it to 100 percent. In addition, if the battery does get disconnected for whatever reason and you do this multiple times, yes, it will affect the life of the battery. Okay. So if you're going to charge in your car, just make sure you can get a full charge or don't do it. Yeah. It's the bottom line. And also, this is another reason to buy a Ford. I'm not trying to pump you up, Ford. Maybe you should be on the show. But Full disclosure, you do own stock? I, ooh, I do. <laughs> I have to say that now. Crap. All right, full disclosure, I, I own stock in Ford. <laughs> but the reason that I think Ford is a great value for drone pilots is because it's the only vehicle that you can leave running and lock the doors with the keypad and leave the vehicle running and be secure the entire time you're charging batteries. Ford are the only ones that have keypads, right? You get locked out of your truck, doesn't matter, doo, 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 back in. Oh, the keypad, not the fob. You're not no, talking. I'm talking about the keypad that's physically on the vehicle. I see. Although they changed the way the keypads work because my keypad didn't work on the new Expedition. Hmm. So weird. That's very interesting. Because you typically hit seven and eight together to lock the doors and it didn't work. Interesting. So anyway. Keeping you guessing. Yep. All right. Well, Well, I think that answers that question. If you have a question, go to askdroneu.com, upload that question. And if you want some really deep, insightful information on drone mapping, our new drone comprehensive course will be coming out very shortly. In addition, we're going to have a surveying course with drones. In addition, our new Don't Crash course, which will feature the newest drones, is coming out as well. As you can hear, we've got a lot of content coming your way. And if you're not a member, then you're not going to have exclusive access. So... If you want to support the show and get more organized, deep diving information, then check out the Drone U community. On that bombshell, that's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. And this is a very nice and British goodbye. Cheers. (laughs) 